Thank you. Absolutely. You've been so nice. Thank you. Otherwise, we say, I'll pass. <laughs> I know. Mr. President, first of all, thank you for the opportunity. Florida obviously is important for you. And now we can say welcome home to sure. Florida because it's your permanent residence after changing from New York. And you've made several campaign stops here, including today the Israeli American Council. Mm -hmm. All roads to the White House have to go through Florida. How important is Florida for you? Well, it's very important, and you have a great new governor, and you have, uh, as you know, some really fantastic people down here that I like and that have been friends of mine for a long time. And uh, I'm moving to Florida, as you know. I've already moved to Florida, and it's just a great state. We've been very successful in Florida in many ways, and certainly politically we won the state and quite easily. And we're doing even better now, and Florida's having the best year it's ever had. So we're very happy about it. But I love this state. I love the people. We have to talk about impeachment. Nancy Pelosi has begun the process of drafting the articles of impeachment. Mm -hmm. You said that if it's going to happen, let it happen fast yeah. so that it can get to the Senate. What's your strategy in the Senate? Well, it's not a strategy. We did nothing wrong. We had a great conversation with a man from another country. It was a perfect conversation, as you probably know if you read the uh, the you know they transcribed it I guess you'd call it a transcription of the conversation and uh, it was an absolutely perfect conversation it is ridiculous it's a hoax it's just a continuation of the same witch hunt we have tremendous Republican support I guess nobody's ever had re support like this it seems like everybody and uh, the Senate likewise we have tremendous support and it's ridiculous what they're doing and you see the poll numbers have gone through the roof for me and especially in the swing states. And what they're doing is just wrong. It's a very terrible thing that they're doing for the country, very unfair to the country. And in the meantime, she's not doing anything. I mean, she's going to go down as the know-nothing speaker because nothing gets done. She's not even passing USMCA, which is the big deal between Canada and the United States and Mexico and the United States. And it's a, it's a very sad thing for our country, but they have no idea what they're doing. I mean, they're just they're getting nothing done. And they're focused on this, and it's based on a telephone conversation that was absolutely perfect. Are you and, concerned and at way, all? And I knew everybody was listening to the conversation. You know, many people were on that conversation, Secretary of State, et cetera, et cetera. And if you take the, uh, if you listen to the conversation, it's like absolutely perfect. Are you concerned at all when this gets to the Senate? No, if it I'm, gets not, to the Senate? I'm not concerned at all. It should never get to the Senate. It's a disgrace. It's a hoax. It's a hoax. And they know they're going to lose. They're losing very big and just about every state, I guess, every state that really counts in terms of what the election's all about. And uh, I guess this is what they have to do. But it's, it's a bad thing for our country, very bad. Big news today. Uh, an American that was held hostage, captive in Iran, uh, was released. We know here we're very close to the situation because of Robert Levinson, who's also... Uh, we're working on, too. Who we're working on to. She what can, back a long time ago. What can you tell us about the negotiations to release that uh, that man held? Well, we negotiated with Iran, and it was a successful negotiation. And we did a swap, and we got our person back, a uh, really a, a Princeton graduate and a graduate student, a very good person. Was not a spy. They said he was a spy. He was not a spy. We got him back, and I think maybe very importantly, it shows that we can maybe spend a little time with Iran and get something done. You know, right now Iran is having a hard time and uh, having riots in their streets and a lot of problems. Uh, I ended the deal, as you know, the Iran nuclear deal, which was a disaster for this country and should have never been made by the Obama administration. But the hostage was taken during the Obama years and it was the hostage was brought back during the Trump years. So we're very happy to have him back, a young man that did nothing wrong. Are you working on Robert Levinson's case as well? We are, and the difficulty there was, was so long ago, and he wasn't very well even long ago, but we're getting certain signals that he may be, he may be alive, and we have. It should have been brought back when President Obama gave $150 billion and $1.8 billion in cash to Iran. That's when he should have been brought back, but they didn't get him back, so we are working on it very hard. Michael Bloomberg in the race for the White House, spending a lot of money on ads. What kind of impact do you think that will have on the election? I don't think much. I mean, it just doesn't look like he's catching on. He's very low in the polls. Uh, I don't think he has what it takes. I mean, I know him well. I know him for a long time. I don't see it for this kind of an election. 
Uh, I look at some of the other candidates. I mean, his only hope is you look at some of the other candidates and you say, why wouldn't he win? But no, I don't think Michael has what it takes. And finally, what will you do for Christmas with the family? Well, we'll probably be down at Mar-a-Lago in Palm Beach, and we'll also be going around to see our soldiers. I just got back from Afghanistan. I went to Iraq previously, and uh, we'll be spending some time with some great soldiers, maybe in this area, maybe beyond. Happy holidays. Thank you very much. Thank you.